great fighter is not one that never loses. A great fighter is one that never allows defeat to win. We've been hired by the agency to train recruits for the Sierra program. You may have heard about our recent graduate, Sierra Six. Like him, you'll operate in the gray. A lone wolf completing missions across the world. I'm Holly Holm. I'm Dustin Poirier. Sierra 7, I hope you've come prepared. Being in the gray means there's no one to rely on but yourself. You'll be hunted down and betrayed. Your emotions will be tested. We're going to teach you how to prepare for a fight. Just like the great man, I face a lot of pressure going into these fights. The weight of the world is on my shoulders, and I use that in stride. As Sierra 7, you will face high pressure situations. The odds will be against you. The steps I take to be prepared for a fight is to make sure I'm ready physically, mentally, emotionally. I usually wake up, run, go to the gym, work on techniques and skills, oriented towards what we're gonna do and try to accomplish in the fight. One day will be striking, the next day might be grappling, wrestling, jiu-jitsu. Just another Thursday. The moment you let your guard down, you've already lost. We're gonna teach you how to be uncatchable. Being uncatchable means I'm gonna have them swinging at air. I'm never gonna be there for them to make contact. Staring my opponent in the eyes, making the right moves at the right times, being one step ahead. The whole point is to hit and not get hit. When I'm preparing to fight wrestlers, obviously I spend a lot more time training defense for that, a lot of down blocks, anti-wrestling to, to keep it on the feet. If it's somebody that's constantly looking for knockout strikes coming for the head, you need to be able to counter those. Today I'm gonna teach you how to counter a double leg takedown with good down blocks, good sprawls, and head pressure. I sprawled back here, getting my hips back, controlling his head. I'm gonna punch my left arm underneath his armpit here. Lock hands, use my other forearm to flip him over. Then I finish punching through, grab my own bicep, lock the choke here, sprawl my hips back. Cutting off the blood flow. So a lot of times, fighters will use their striking to drop and do a double leg takedown. They can't reach both legs. They might just grab one leg, then I'll finish the takedown. Right here, I'm gonna get my wizard. I'm gonna grab this wrist. I'm gonna break your grip. I'm gonna get my own body lock. And the inside control again. Being unstoppable means to unleash your inner beast, even if it means risking everything. Just like the great man, I've fought people from all over the world, from all disciplines. Somebody may come in with a huge background in judo. Another might come in with a long history of wrestling. And you need to be ready for whatever that is. Fighting styles that I really respect and study are the ones that are effective. I spend a lot of time in the jiu-jitsu room. I spend a lot of time with my Muay Thai coach or in the boxing gym, you know, working on my defense. The first Brazilian jiu-jitsu technique I can show you today will be an arm bar. I'm here in guard, break his posture, two on one, use my right foot to pivot my hips, throwing my leg over his head. With that momentum, I bring him to his back, knees together, heels to my butt, thumb up, hyperextending arm. The second Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu technique I wanna show you today is another technique that works from a bad position, from being on bottom, and works against bigger opponents, will be a triangle choke. Back to guard, I'm gonna take this arm, Clear my leg over it, grabbing my shin. Need to get this arm across his face. Other leg over, pull down on the head. The last technique I'll teach you today will be a rear naked choke. Very basic, very effective, really hard to get out of. Hook 
kicks in, roll him over, arm underneath his chin, right arm on my bicep, hide my hand behind his head, squeeze. Rear naked choke. Every fight starts on the feet. So today, we're gonna work on our feet, we're gonna work on the jab, our power hand, and our kick. All right, I wanna use my footwork, I wanna move around, I wanna use my jab for range, I wanna use my jab for range, and then I'm gonna use it to be moving around and get an angle, whether it be to the right, maybe I wanna use the jab to the left, but I wanna just keep using this jab so that I can keep her at bay and go when I wanna go and use my footwork to get around her. Say I wanna make it worth something now, I wanna use that jab to set up something, so I'm gonna use the same, same idea. I'm gonna jab, I'm gonna take an angle, maybe I wanna come with my straight punch there. I wanna set it up, maybe I wanna to go to the left, and then get my legs into it, use it more for power, have a knockout punch off of it. So I wanna use this jab, maybe I'm gonna go right and knock her out, maybe I'm gonna go left and knock her you out. You guys wanna keep them guessing, all right? Maybe I wanna to come to the leg, okay? Maybe I wanna to come to the body. If they get so worried about all that, then I'm gonna come up top, go to the head. My biggest strengths and weapons in, in fights that makes me unstoppable is my mindset, is picking myself up off the canvas when I get knocked down, never stopping. What makes me unstoppable is I truly feel that I can beat everybody I get in there with. Otherwise, why would I step in there? Why would I even get in there? Why would I sign up for it if I truly don't think that I can do it? And if I don't believe in myself, I've already lost. The outcome of fights are often unpredictable. Through all challenges, you have to keep pushing. There's still a long road ahead of you. But for now, welcome to the gray.